Hello everyone! Now this video is not the video that I was planning to put up this week. In fact, I was planning on putting out another story time driving lesson video, but because this happened today, I thought I would share it with you because honestly, I actually didn't think I was gonna pass, but I passed my theory test and I'm so happy. It's a long story and I'm gonna tell you about it and hopefully give you some tips and tricks to help you pass your driving theory test too. The pass mark for the multiple choice questions is 43 out of 50 and I scored 46. And then for the hazard perception, which is basically you watch a screen with videos and you click when there's a hazard approaching, like if a car's coming or there's a bike or something. And you have to get at least 44 out of 75 and I scored 61. So I'm very impressed with that. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and just kind of explain how I felt throughout it all. So I originally booked my theory test to actually be Thursday, which is tomorrow for you lot. But I was just doing so well that I just wanted to get it out of the way <laughs> because I've been having a lot of driving lessons and my new driving instructor was saying that I just need to get it done. And I've been putting off doing my theory test because I've been scared and I haven't done a proper sit down test since my GCSEs because I didn't do A levels, I did a B tech. And then my university course was practical. So there was no tests. So I haven't done a sit down test since I was 16 years old, which is insane when you think about that. I'm now 22. So it's been a good few years since I've had to do anything like that. I kind of didn't really remember how I had to like revise for these sort of things but a lot of people told me to get the apps so you can see at the bottom of my screen i've got two apps one is the hazard perception practice and one is the theory test now i bought the bundle but you actually don't need to buy the bundle just get the theory test which is 6.99 i think and then that comes with the hazard perception practice in it so yeah you don't need to get the bundle that i did because i didn't realize that it came with it <laughs> but i only actually got those apps like a week ago or two weeks ago now. So I was actually using this, which is the Theory 4-in-1, which costs 4 99 And this has theory test and has a perception as well. And this is what I was recommended by Chris, my boyfriend. And I'm just gonna show you like how I started and how I progressed because both apps track your progress, which is really, really helpful. Um, and I started off with this one. So I'm gonna show you my theory test, which did not start off well, which is why I was putting it off because I was just so scared and I hadn't done a test for such a long time that I kind of couldn't remember how to revise for anything. I did also buy the highway code, but honestly, I didn't really read this. I just read the apps and relied on doing practice tests, basically. That was the way that helped me, but it might not necessarily help you. So I would buy the book as well, but it didn't really help me and I didn't really use it. So you can see here that I was not passing the theory test for a very long time. In the official one, you can see that I only failed once and you can also see the time it took me to do. So you can see that it doesn't actually take that long. However, in the actual test that I did today, I have made sure I used a lot more time so I could go over the questions, but I'll come on to that in a minute. So I would really recommend using those apps. What I also did was whenever I got a question wrong on the theory test, I would write it down in my notebook. I found that writing stuff down really, really helped to retain the information in my brain. Um, it may not help you, but that's just the way that it helped me and I passed, so yeah. I hope those tips were kind of helpful. Moving on to the actual day. So this was this morning for me, it's Monday. I had my test at 8 a.m. I would not recommend guys. <laughs> I went to the test center and it wasn't open <laughs> when I got there and literally dead on quarter to eight, they let everybody in. We were all stood outside in the cold, uh, but they let us in and then I walked in and I was nervous. Like I didn't feel nervous when I was on my way or I wasn't nervous leading up to it. But as soon as I got in the room, I was like, oh my God, I'm scared. And like, I was shaking. I'm a shaker. They told us that we would get called up one by one and they would take our details, check our license and make sure that our phones are switched off. So I was the first one to get called up. Okay, so I had to read through this like thing that told you like what to do and like the things you can't take into the room, which is literally 
anything. You can't take anything in. And they were like, okay, Rebecca, can we have you? So I walked up to the desk and the lady was lovely. And she just asked me a few questions, checked my phone and then gave me a locker key um, so I could put all my valuables in the locker because you're not allowed to take anything in with you. I was then told to go and sit in like the corridor area. The guy who was like kind of monitoring all the screens where you actually do the test was like, oh miss, can I take your details please? He called me over, checked everything. He asked to see my glasses. Someone tell me how I'm able to put any answers on these things like and then i had to roll up my sleeves so they could check there was nothing in there I, they had to check i had nothing in my pockets um, which i didn't and yeah then he was like okay you're at number 15. i went in and i sat at the computer and started doing my test now the issue that i had with being first was that i was sat right next to the door as well which was very unhelpful so i thought the way that it was going to happen was that everyone in your time slot would go in and then it would start all together. No, 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 no. <laughs> you go in separately. So as soon as you're ready and they've checked everything, you go in and start. So because I was the first one in, I could hear everybody else talking outside and every time they entered, I could hear more things. And I was just sat there like, this is so unhelpful. Like I am trying to concentrate. Like I don't want to hear your conversations, you know? As I was working through the questions, I was, working myself up like i was so nervous i felt like i'd forgotten everything that i'd practiced and i was just sat there like i'm so gonna fail this like there were some questions that i literally hadn't even read about i didn't know and i was like what is this like <laughs> this isn't stuff that i've read about like i'm gonna have to guess i flagged about six i think so i was like there's six that i'm definitely not sure about and then I kind of read through them again. And some of them I was like, oh no, yeah, this is the correct answer. And there was still like about three that I was like, mm, I'm not sure if that's right, but I'm just gonna move on. And then we came on to the hazard perception. Now with the hazard perception, I started off doing really well. And then when I focused more on doing the theory side, like the questions, my hazard perception went down. It was really freaking me out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna pass it. But ladies and gentlemen, I did pass it because you know what I realized? The ones you practice with go so much quicker than the ones in the actual test. Like the videos, everything happens quite fast. Whereas in the test ones, you're driving really, really slowly. So you have a lot more time to see things that are going on. So another thing is once you've finished your test, you don't sit there and wait for the time to finish. You literally just leave. So people are always coming in and out, which was so annoying, but I was taking my time and I happened to pass, which is really, really cool. And I didn't think I was gonna pass because I felt like, well, I just felt like I didn't know the answers to the questions. And I came out feeling really gloomy. And then I went over to the desk, handed in the locker key, and they just gave me this piece of paper. And he was like, have a nice day. And I was like, oh, okay, right. I thought we were meant to get a certificate if we passed. So because I just got this piece of paper, I was like, Oh, I'm assuming I didn't pass. Like I thought I wouldn't pass. So I clearly didn't pass. And then I just was like, oh, well, let's have a look. See if it tells me like where I went wrong and stuff. And then I see that it says, congratulations. You've passed the car driving theory test. And I was like, oh my days, that's so cool. So then obviously I text all my friends, text my family. I was like, guys, I passed. And then I came back home and booked my driving test. There's none available at the end of October and I really want to get it done literally in the next couple of weeks. But the next available slot is like November. So fingers crossed the weather's not bad. I hope those tips and tricks kind of helped you and kind of gave you a bit more of an insight into the driving theory side because I didn't really know what to expect. Just be aware that it's not in a quiet room. People are constantly walking in and out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye.